What's up, y'all? My name is Carter Hayes. I don't know how you found yourself here, but uh, now you're here, so you better stay for the entire duration of the video. Right now, I decided I'm gonna do breakdown videos of my songs. I like to change up and remix my songs all the time and like listen to how I made things. I just love that process. This is a new song, a relatively new song. The song is called On My Radar. I decided, you know, I'm gonna do a, a little breakdown of how I made this song. So, here we go. As you can see right here, basically, also, I have a cat, so if you start hearing some meowing, she's just lonely and not getting enough attention right now. Daddy has to work right now. Yeah. What? So basically, at first, I went to my homie Mecca's house, and she had showed me this spacey five-second loop that she didn't know what to do anything with. So she played this. I was like, that's so cute. It's like nice and a little twinkly. I was, I was really enjoying it when I first heard it. You know, do you need it? She's like, ah, no, I don't really need it. I was like, all right, run it, please. So she ran it, uh, sent it to me that day of, and then the day after, I had added bass to it. The bass is just like Contact, like a default Rickenbacker, one of my favorite plugins on Contact. Fake ass bass. What is, what is up with you? Uh, she's she's playing right now. And after that, I started adding keys. I was like really inspired and still contact keys. I think it's Alicia's keys. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Swiss beats come for your boy. You know what? I gotta give you guys a perspective of what I'm going through and what I'm dealing with. Look at that. Her weird ass is just running all over my place. I promise my place is usually more clean than this, but. It's dirty for now, you're gonna have to deal with it, my boy. But uh, these were the keys I added. Pretty much the loop took about like 10 minutes to make. I decided to start adding, start adding claps. in between those parts. So. And then an additional clap. The whole intro is pretty much just that. Like that. The, the bass adds a little booty to it. Uh, you know, I, I love me the, the booty. Then when we start getting into the verse, the keys cut off and then it's just bass. It's just bass and the claps and then that's when I start adding stuff like the hi-hat and the kick and snare. So hi-hat. Then you add a kick. Okay, all of this is hidden, but like the, this, there needs to be some harder thing than just this clap. So I was like, you know what, I need to add like a little, an, an extra snare. And when that snare comes in, it doesn't come in at first, it comes in a little later. Bro, relax. It comes in a little later, so. Without the clap, it would just sound like this. For all my musicians out there, the drums are completely quantized. They're super quantized. Usually I'm the type of person that's not really into quantized type stuff, but I made this completely quantized because the bass was already dragged enough and not um, and not and not quantized. So alone is still it's still rocking, right? It's still bumping. never do that again. Yeah, so the instrumental is pretty much the same. It, it's, it's up until the end of the verse where it's like Oh man, that was the only time I switched up the bass on that part. So it's just the I was just kind of freestyling 
Um, I actually have a voice memo of the original recording of me doing On My Radar. Yeah. This It was cool, I already had the basic idea, and this was back in June 2019. And this song didn't come out until September 2020. Then later on in the song, towards the uh, the second verse, that's when we start adding the guitar. And that's Fahim, my boy Fahim playing guitar. So, it's this. Now, I did something kind of unconventional. There's no chorus right after the first verse. There's just a break, and then it's the second verse, and then chorus. Breakdown, third verse, chorus. Very strange. Uh, one second, let me take this. Uh, David. Hey. Hey, um, can I, can I call you back in like 10 minutes? I'm filming the making of On My Radar. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> All right, cool. You want to say hi? Hey. Cool. Hey. You, can, you can fix that in post, right? Whatever. You can make me sound cooler. That's my manager, David. He's the one that gets me the big bucks. Just kidding, I'm still broke. Towards the breakdown, that's when the bass starts to switch up. And that's still me on contact in the beginning, so it's like... Fahim on guitar. So sneaky, too. Let me put that clip. Like. Now on that part, I layered, we layered the guitar. So it ended up like. So there's two, two guitars just playing with each other. Not even on beat, like not even fully on beat. It's, it's like drag. Man. Producing this song was so much fun. The heme actually added bass on top of the bass that I had. So, this is my bass, right? Right? And then he added bass behind it. If you listen to it, right? piano that I added in the back. The drums don't really change up much, there's just no hat. Drums are pretty much the same. I added a shaker though. The shaker. And then I added this, this little like sound effect. Towards the end of the breakdown part, I added uh, some hand boning. It was just like some, some clapping. Sounds like horses galloping. Um, the way we did the hand boning was uh, just uh, one left, one in the left, and then one in the right. If you listen closely, there's a little piano that's kind of like challenging the rhythm of the rest of the song. It's on that, that's a guitar rig, mid-lead, um, but towards the end, I pitched that, pitched that like a whole octave lower, that sample in the beginning just pitched it a whole octave lower, and at this part that's when we added guitar and like Fahim's guitar and bass. What's up, mama? What's going on, mama? 
Yeah. Yo, if you're disrupting me, I'm trying to record. Yeah, that's your toy. That's your toy. Enjoy your toy. Enjoy your toy. Yeah, what the fuck was what? Now we're gonna get into my favorite part, which is the vocals. I had so much fun recording these vocals. I just thought my vocals sounded great. I was just like in a really good pocket that night. So this is uh, my first verse. Some more day on the phone. There's no way I'm gonna talk. I don't want you involved. Put my records on play. When I was coming up with the ideas, I was like, yo, that would be kind of tight. So I just added just two who's panned left and right. Easy. Then I did a couple harmonies, a few stacks, not too much, it was just a three part harmony. So it was this. There's a reason I'm lonely. Right? And then these. There's a reason I'm lonely. And these. There's a reason I'm lonely. All together now. Need more people to love me. All together now. I don't want any company. Did I mention I was too? And then for the part that I love the most. Ain't that some shit? Ain't that some shit? And then I also made a clean version just in case any radio wanted to put me on something. Ain't that something? Ain't that something? Then I wanted to start off the second verse with the backgrounds because I thought that the backgrounds just sounded really sick. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to do these stack vocals again. Don't know how to communicate, but I'm cool with that. That is a hundred percent fact. I do not know how to communicate. I'm really bad at it. I'll be riding alone full of girls in my car. I don't drive alone with girls full of girls in my car. Especially because at this time that I wrote this, I think I had a two-seater. Uh, I don't drink, I don't smoke. True. That's a very true statement. I do not drink, I do not smoke. But, but my friends do the most and I live on my own. It's true. Actually, when I wrote this, I don't think I lived by myself yet. I didn't. I didn't live by myself yet. I didn't have an apartment yet. I think it was the next month, like maybe two or three weeks later, that's when I lived by That's when I got this apartment. Now we're going to get into the chorus. There's this. I've been up for a while and I can get you on my... All of these are panned left and right slightly. But as you can see, it's like 33 and 28%. I'm not too precise when it comes with it. I don't really care that much. Whoever's mixing is gonna care. So there's the second stack. I've been alone for a while and I can't get you on my. And then the last stack, which is. I've been alone for a while and I can't get you on my. And then the dreaded radar, radar, radar. Uh, I wrote that chorus with. Uh, my friend Lena K, I had the song for a while and I was like, yo, I cannot come up with a chorus. So then I sent it to her, she was like, I'm down to like try to come up with something. And she sends me something and I'm not gonna lie, at first I was like, wow, that's a really poppy chorus. Which makes sense for the song, but I was like, it's very poppy, it's really, really good, but I don't see how I could end up using this. So I didn't for a while. And then months later I was listening back to just like, to, to the song, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try to add a chorus, and I go, I've been alone for a while, and I can get you on my radar, radar, get you on my radar, radar. And then she tells me, oh, like, oh, that's my chorus. I'm like, what do you mean? And I listen to her chorus, and it's, um, uh, I've been alone for a while, don't you know this? I've been alone for a while, don't you know this? It made sense for the song so much, so I kept it, and shout out to Lena K. I promise you're getting your publishing girl. <laughs> and if you listen closely in the song, I'm, to make the transition from the regular part to the uh, to Tyler's verse, I had an elephant noise. It's distorted too, if you listen closely. It's... Now, how did Tyler Cole get on the song? Tyler was the first person to hit me up. He was like, bro, like I can do something to this. Send me his verse. Um, it took a while. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it took, a, it took a few months, but then he sent me the verse, and I'm like, whoa. Tell me what it feel like, do it feel right? When you hurt, they don't wanna see you heal right. Been a long night, been alone, I can't get you on my radar like a lost life. It's really good. I wanted this verse to sound like this. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna verse, 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 I'm gonna 
do that flow at all, but I love the flow he chose to do. The chorus only comes in twice, which is insane. People would not agree to how the song do that. And a little inspiration that I got, and, and when I was feeling a little weird about how this would sound, when I was listening to somebody that you used to know by Gautier, he has his verse, and then there's just a little like break. And then it gets back into the, the verse again. It doesn't go into the chorus. And I was like, you know what? I can do, I can do me. I'm gonna do me. And then all together, it's, it's uh... All together, this song is a bop. Thank you for even being on my channel. I know I was supposed to post like a few vlogs and stuff, but the vlogs that I have, I can't post yet because it's about some secret stuff that's about to come out soon. So when that does come out, I'll be able to post my vlog. Uh, go stream my stuff. You need help finding out how to stream my stuff? Here. Right there, on the search bar. Just type in Carter Ace. No offline results found for Carter Ace. Oh, my Wi-Fi is not. Okay, well, when your Wi-Fi is on, search up Carter Ace and then uh, let me know what you think about these songs. Thank you for joining. Peace. I don't like memories no more. The fondest things are better to ignore.